So we have 60,000 new livestock head on our homestead today. So we got everything ready and prepared to receive our bees back in April. They were bees that we were supposed to be receiving as a barter for one of the pigs we bartered for. So we had one beehive that was supposed to be coming and no matter what happened, something kept coming up to make it almost impossible for us to get those bees. We are over here close to the edge of our property and this is one of the sunniest spots on the property. Not quite big enough to plant a vegetable garden, but it is big enough to put some bees. So this view is facing south and we have cardboard laid out as a somewhat of a weed barrier. We'll still have to weed it around it, I'm sure. And the bees will have a south facing view, full sun. Should be pretty good. So Ryan's gonna put this large pallet down on top of the cardboard. Just getting everything ready for our beautiful ladies to join us on the homestead again. We've been missing our bees. All right, so we had to scoot it back a little bit. It was kind of wobbly right there. There's like a bump in the soil right around there. So scooted it back, got it up on another pallet. So it's lifted up off the ground. So even if the grass in front grows up a little bit before we have a chance to weed eat, there's enough height and it's level enough for the bees to start making a home. I joked that it was because I was dealing with a real cowboy and his life had turned into a country song. He had one complication after another, but finally the moment had arrived and we had our bees on the way coming to us last night. The bees have arrived. They are here. Finally. Our vegetables and fruit are going to be so grateful for this. <laughs> it sure is. Uh, Ryan, make sure you get his pad so he don't trip on nothing. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> so we decided to put one of our nukes in the front yard for the permaculture food forest. We have lots of pollination in the future perfect setup. I put together this new bee box today. Super excited. I'm gonna let the professional do his thing. <laughs> I've never installed a nuke. I've always gotten packages and had help with the installation of nukes. So I'm glad that he's willing to do this for us. Are they attracted to light? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, I just had one hit my face. Hopefully they shouldn't. I hadn't had none come at me aggressively yet. I have one crawling on my neck. Should I do anything about it? No. I wouldn't touch it if I didn't have to. But I left the back open probably. Ryan, you be careful with that light. If they start coming at you, you get out of here. Is he allergic? A little bit. Yeah. He gets localized reactions. Betty, you stay up? back. Yes, stay back, Betty. Off my fingers. 
I know, I don't want them to like, <laughs> don't hang out on me. I love bees, but I, I do get nervous still when they land on me. Yeah. Especially in a situation like this. Where they're just a little bit upset still, you know. There's a bunch inside your lid still. I don't know if you wanted to knock those. I'll knock them off from the ground. Okay, yeah. And they'll find their way home. I might knock this off though. Now y'all gotta go over there. I'm gonna knock all these in here. I've got one chasing my light. I should turn a light off. Uh, don't go after my relish. Cup. There you go. You allergic to that too? I uh, see my aunt off is clearing up now. <laughs> I'm not really too. I'm, I'm All right, Ryan, you. We're gonna go through the vegetable garden. Yeah, go through the vegetable garden. And, it, and there's a path right at the corner. <clears throat> I'm not deathly allergic. I just swell up. Lead the way, baby. It's usually wasps. Yeah. I haven't really had a problem with none of these. Watch your step. It's the cardboard right there. So this path right here, there is some poison ivy, but uh, most of it doesn't really. I'm not allergic to it. Most of it's not where it's going to touch you, but some, some of it is. Right there, boys, watch out for the poison ivy. And then again, right there. Oh, you have a little opening on top? Yeah, then on top as well. Oh. So they can, they don't overheat in the summer. Oh, that's really interesting. I've never seen that. And in the winter, it keeps them from not, the, the moisture, it lets it get out the top. That makes a lot of sense. Because moisture will kill bees number one. That makes a lot of sense. So I didn't have a chance to freeze this box, but I scraped it as good as I could. Probably, right. these so, and these are brand new, so I, These hives are strong, so they, they ain't gonna let nothing get through. And I had frozen, the frames that were in there, I had frozen because I was trying to catch a swarm. 
with that. So yeah, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't have any pests. Hopefully. Our, our neighbor's really excited that we're getting bees too. To oh yeah, shine the light down there. Cause she, uh, she's letting That's us. That's where we're gardening now. Yeah. Oh. So she's letting us use this part here. That's yeah. hers. Hers is in the middle, and then I just tilled up the section in the back right there. Dang. Mm -hmm. So. It looks good. Yeah. That's, so there's, they'll have lots to eat and yeah. fertilize. Or That's cool. Funny. All yeah. right. So is that a good walk for you for the nuke or? Oh yeah, yeah. That okay. ain't bad at all. All right. Now that thing probably weighs like 60 pounds. It's pretty heavy. So I went through it last yesterday. You see this? This is Queen Wright on 6 3 2022 or 2022. I always, when I go through them, okay. I write on the top what I did. All right. And if y'all could make you an entrance right here, try to catch you just a little bit. Cause so there are all their all their defense mechanisms in oh, the, front. the front. Yep. So if you come so in cut from back, the back there, yeah. they're they're mm -hmm. way out less likely to mess with you. So cut that. I, I just so you can just go a in little there. bit just oh, where oh, you can get human. in there. Your body just Got so it. you can. So get when in we there. do our checks, our hive inspections. And yeah, stuff. you can just come from the back and not have stuff poking you in the back. Yeah, that makes think, sense. Yeah, that would be good. You could even move them out some. Yeah. Like, don't cut nothing. Just move them. Out. Slide the. See, occasionally yeah. we drive a tractor right. Right there. Right yeah. Here, so. Yeah. So I mean, it's up to you. I mean, but yeah, I would just make it where I can. I look at them from the back every time. Yeah. We've always looked at them from the side. I guess. Side. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or I mean, the, the side's really not the worst. It's just it is better to come from the back. That makes sense. I hadn't had anybody tell me that before. Yeah. But shoot, yo, let's go grab a Y'all stand here, I'll bring you up. That means it's it's doing real good. Awesome. Well, I've always been told that you should always have at least two hives, so if something happens to one... You got something to work with. Yep. You are Stop correct. Back. Don't fall in a hole. There's a lot of little holes back here. <laughs> And you said that the the one box there, the blue and green one, it's uh mm. ten frames. Are they all drawn out? How no, no, you got time. Okay, I was gonna say how soon I do gave I need you to get? time, but it is get... a very good hive. Good. I, I mean, I wouldn't give it no month or nothing. Well, I gotta get the frames in the freezer. That's all I'm worried about. Yeah, I mean, you could even. In a couple of weeks, if you wanted to, throw a honey super on it for a little while. I wouldn't do it for too long. We don't have a reducer in front of this one. If y'all need one, oh, call me. I've got one in the basket on the table. As I say, eventually I'm going to open up a bee hardware store in Carrollton. Oh, that's so awesome. But it's I, so needed in this area. I'm get. I've got a good bit of hardware built up now. I'm just trying to, I got to get where I don't sell out like right when I start. <laughs> I got one on my nose and it feels like it's biting me, but it's not stinging me. Why is it doing that? Just hanging that way. It's hurt. <laughs> Everything was going smoothly. I was watching the second nuke be installed. We ended up getting two extra nukes in addition as a trade for two of our bucklings. So we ended up with three hives installed. But on the second nuke installation, I started feeling a bee crawling on my nose as I was filming. <sighs> and I had worked in the yard all day. So I kind of felt like almost like it hurt and like I could feel really like sharp feet and you know insects will have like that velcro under a magnifying glass like a velcro um, part of their feet and so I thought at first I thought it was that so why don't you guys watch what happened as our bees were installed and you see how these frames are coming apart real easy that's because I went through them today. So if, normally you'll need a hive tool to get them apart. Okay. Y'all have any hive tools? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. we got hot. We got hot. It's on your mouth. Being tough, Rose, you're doing great. I won't take much longer. There's something hanging off of my nose. <laughs> Was it attracted to that? Now it's on my chin. It's gone. Did you take one of those off my nose? Off my nose? That's a... You got a tear coming in. It literally hurt. <laughs> That really hurt. What was it doing? I guess it was going after salt. Oh, there's a stinger. It got you. I didn't feel a sting. Oh, now it's attracted to the stinger juice. Yay! Yeah, don't squeeze it. All right, now y'all walk back up and we're done. I'm gonna grab my box and that's it. Yeah, that wasn't a booger, Ryan. That was a. <laughs> that was the, its gut. Come on. Yeah. Ah. Got one on my forehead. Ryan, you get out of here, man. We gotta, we gotta keep, see it keep going. Let's see. Watch out. Okay, there's no stinger in it. No, okay. Ryan, keep going. That sting on my nose alerted them to keep stinging. I thought it hurt. I thought they were like licking the salt off my nose or something. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Oh, I got one on the back of my neck right now. Yeah. Okay, I think it's off my neck. Yeah, that wasn't boogers. That was bee guts. That was a lot. I reached up and grabbed my nose and I felt something in it in my fingertip and I looked and it was a stinger. That's the lightest sting I've ever had. But it lost its guts. Are you okay? Is there anything we should put on his sting? You wanna go grab the Benadryl cortisone? The cream? I gave you the other day for your poison ivy. Where is it? Well, that was exciting. <laughs> Ryan didn't get stung, luckily. Nope, I did not. I did. I got stung on the nose. <laughs> and I didn't even know it. So, yeah, that was cool. We got our two nukes installed and a new package of bees pretty darn excited right now yeah was not planning on the two nukes knew that we were going to get one package of bees and then the two nukes became an awesome trade for two of our little bucklings that we're ready to wean so i'm excited yeah we've got three hives now one in the front yard and two in the back by the vegetable garden near miss elsie's so i think everything is going to get pollinated really well I hope so. And I next year we'll have honey. <laughs> lots and lots of honey. Right. We're going to take really good care of these bees. Make sure that we do our inspections and be very religious about it because I think that's the one place that we failed at with the last bees is we didn't inspect often enough. So we're going to stay on top of it this time. So real soon we're going to start the Varroa mite treatment. We're going to do, what did he say, every seven days for a month. 
and then again in the fall. So we'll make sure we stay on top of that. But tomorrow morning we'll mix up some food for them and get them fed well. And hopefully they'll start finding all of the nectar sources in our area real soon. Awesome. <laughs> So now we have three new hives and they are doing fabulous. They are really looking good and happy and vibrant and I couldn't be happier to have three hives and also having one in the front yard with the food forest is just such an accomplishment and I just cannot wait to see what the future holds for us. Oh, this makes my heart happy. Those are some happy bees. Look, they're even nectaring on the false dandelion that we let bloom out here. Such a good thing to see. So awesome. Alright, so that, that butt dance right there, I think that's a... I think that's one of those dances they do when they found something good and they're coming back to tell everybody else where it is. I forget what it's called. Kaylee will, Kaylee will tell me. <laughs> Kaylee from the Honeystead is my bee guru on YouTube. Lots of great information on her channel. Go check it out. I'm really hoping that they find this mimosa and start having fun with that because that's pretty awesome all right these bees are looking good too we forgot to put the entrance reducer on the nuke installation on the white hive so i've got them i just brought the entrance reducer down here thinking i might have been able to put it in there without a suit on but i think i'll suit up for that because they're really active so they're probably just learning their new area and figuring out where the new nectar sources are. So they're very busy, busy, busy bees.